I'm Darielle Snipes with the CMSD News Bureau. Welcome to CMSD 360, a look at news happening around the district for the week of May 8th. On this Sunday, make sure to wish all mothers, grandmothers, and mother figures a happy Mother's Day. And we want to thank CMSD mothers for all they do to support our scholars every day of the year. Don't forget to sign up for the CMSD Summer Learning Experience. It is back for a second year. Registration is open for students in preschool through 12th grade. To participate, students must be enrolled in the district or pre-registered to enroll. The free program will be held at more than 30 school sites throughout the city. Meals and transportation are included. The Summer Learning Experience gives students a chance to finish the year strong and participate in fun projects or activities. It begins on June 27th and lasts five weeks for children in preschool through eighth grade and four weeks for high school students. To learn more and to register now, go to clevelandmetroschools.org. Come out on Saturday and celebrate the amazing work of all our scholars at the 23rd annual Rock Your World with Steam Festival. The event will be held from 9 to 3 outside the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum and the Great Lakes Science Center. Students will be performing on five different stages, plus visual arts and STEAM projects will be showcased. The event is free and open to the public, so come out to the lakefront and help us celebrate our students. CMSD families will receive free admission to both museums as well as lunch, as long as quantities last. The Community Immunity Bus will be on hand to provide COVID vaccinations and boosters as well. The Board of Education will hold its monthly work session on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. It will be held at Memorial Pre-K through 8 School located at 410 East 152nd Street in Cleveland. The meeting will be live streamed. A link will be posted before the meeting at clevelandmetroschools.org. On Wednesday, the Verizon Innovation Learning Lab at Almira Pre-K through 8 Academy will open. The lab will be a state-of-the-art space for endless opportunities for students. This is a part of Verizon's digital inclusion strategy and will offer 3D printers and more. The celebration, which will include a ribbon cutting, will be from 10 to 12 p.m. Also on Wednesday, students who attend the Dickens Reads After School program will be in for a treat when author Clotilda Ewing and illustrator Lynn Gaines come for a visit. They will read their new book, Stella Keeps the Sun Up, to children. The book is about a young girl who schemes to keep the sun up in the sky so she never has to go to bed. Dickens Reads is a partnership with WKYC to increase reading scores at Dickens Pre-K through 8th School. Turning to sports, it is a busy week in athletics. First up, the Eleanor Montgomery Middle School Track Championship will take place on Monday at 4 p.m. Then on Tuesday, the Jesse Owens High School Track Championship will start at 3.30. Both championships will take place at the Collingwood Athletic Complex. You will be able to watch a live stream of the high school event at SenateLive.com. Before the high school track championship, District 1, the Cleveland-based company that launched the streaming service Senate Live for Senate League sporting events, will provide new track uniforms to the East Tech and Rhodes teams. They will feature an image of Olympian Jesse Owens, who was an East Tech graduate and trained for the Olympics at Rhodes High School. On Thursday, Orchard STEM School will have two events. First, the Care Alliance Medical Mobile and Dental Mobile Units will be parked outside the school from 10 to 12. Students will be able to get free checkups and dental exams. At 10.30, the Cavs Goodyear Innovative Lab will have its grand opening. The lab, which will include multimedia equipment for podcasts, was made possible by a half million dollar donation from the Cleveland Cavaliers and Goodyear. The funds are being used to add STEM labs in schools across CMSD. Seventh graders throughout the district will have the opportunity to attend the Beat the Streets stage play at John Hay Auditorium on Thursday at 10.30 in the morning. The performance is loosely based on the book, The Pact. It is a powerful social and emotional learning stage production that will touch upon topics such as bullying, college and career readiness, goal setting, and peer pressure. It is a powerful piece of work. On Friday, CEO Eric Gordon's Student Advisory Committee will hold its last meeting of the school year at Windows on the River starting at 10 a.m. On Thursday, May 19th, students should check their Instagram for a virtual fair for summer opportunities. Organizations will post Insta stories describing the great opportunities they are offering this summer for students. Some of the community partners include 
Student Tech Corps, and HIT in the CLE, to name a few. So be sure to check Instagram on May 19th to learn more about these amazing internships and job opportunities. The fair is part of PACE, which stands for Planning and Career Exploration. PACE is an initiative that helps students learn about and plan for careers, beginning with career awareness in the sixth grade. Well, CMSC is hiring. There will be a job fair on Friday, May 20th from 9 to 4 at the East Professional Center. There are several open positions, including bus drivers, school secretaries, substitute teachers, cooks, and more. To see the full list and to apply for a job, head to clevelandmetroschools.org slash hiring. Well, stay connected with what's going on in the district by downloading the CMSD app or following CMSD on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Well, thanks for watching CMSD 360. Have a great and productive week.